Hi P3 students! Welcome again to our science class with Miss Ida. And we are still in chapter 1, Things Around Us. So for this video lesson, we're going to learn two lessons. First is lesson A, how things are grouped. Let's get our science students book and open it on pages 4 to 9 while watching this video. So come on, let's start! Our learning aim is to explain how things that are living, that were once alive, and that have never lived, are different. All things around us can be sorted into three different groups. Living things, things that were once alive, things that have never lived. Let's check the examples. Living things are alive. We have here examples of animals and plants. Things that are once alive and things that are once living are part of something that was living. Examples, cooked fish and dried leaves on the ground. The third group is things that have never lived are things that have never been alive. Examples, laptop and face. Now let's turn the pages on 10 to 15 for lesson B, what living things can do. Our learning aim is to know the common life processes of plants and animals. To get started, I have here a question. What do all living things have in common? Take your time to study each picture, children. Don't forget to send your answers in the Google Classroom. Plants and animals are living things. All living things need to do certain things to keep them alive and healthy. Animals can grow and have young. These things are called life processes. Plants and animals have many life processes. Let's study one by one. Do living things move? Living things can move on their own. Things that show movement can change their places or positions. Plants do not move from one place to another. Only parts of the plants can move. Let's check the examples. A vine climbs up a tree and the tomato plants move towards the light. What about the animals? Animals can move from one place to another. This allows them to find food or get away from danger. So you can see a cheetah runs fast. Do living things grow? Living things grow. This means that they become bigger. You have learned in stage 2 that animals go through changes as they grow. Other living things also go through changes as they grow. An example is a sibling that grows into a tree. Another example, a young giraffe grows to become adult giraffe. Do living things need nutrition? Living things need food to grow. Plants make their own food. Animals eat plants or other animals for food. The process of taking in and using food is called nutrition. Examples, the plant uses sunlight to make its own food, while the rabbit cannot make its own food. Can living things reproduce? Living things have young. This is called reproduction. Many plants have seeds. Seeds will grow and become new plants. So an example is a mango tree reproduces by seeds. Can living things reproduce? Animals have young. Some animals like birds lay eggs. The eggs hatch into birds. Some animals give birth to their young. An example, a duck lay eggs and the ducklings will grow into adult ducks. So you can see the children. Egg becomes a duckling, young duck, and becomes an adult duck. And that ends our video lesson for today, children. Thanks for watching. Miss Ida will discuss more during our science class. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.